What is up, my sci-fi people? Thank you for tuning in. My name is Rosendo Martinez. This is my channel, Sci-Fi Rose, where I discuss the books I read for the week, science fiction, and then I discuss them with you, and then uh, I'll let you know about the next book that I read. Just started, but I hope as this progresses, I will have a lot more reviews so that you can check out at any time. As I mentioned last week, at the end of uh, my previous video, Stranger in a Strange Land, a review by Robert A. Heinlein, I mentioned that I was going to be reading George Orwell's 1984. And I did. Before I really get into it, uh, let me just say, wow, this thing is incredible. So basically it has to do with the protagonist, Winston Smith, working for the party that is ruling over uh, the country. And they call them Big Brother. He's getting a bit fed up with having to change history in all the writing, which is what he basically does. He edits out things that Big Brother will want him to change. The plot takes place circa 1984. Winston Smith, the protagonist, works for the party and has gotten fed up with their lies and their manipulation of all the people. So at this point, he starts to think, which is an issue for Big Brother. At this point in time, he has to decide what he wants to do. I gotta tell you, this book is intense. The things that Winston Smith has to go through, the way Orwell wrote the book, you are feeling the emotions as Winston Smith is. The thing that Orwell did so well was to be able to put the reader in the shoes of Winston Smith. So everything that he felt, you felt. And so it's a very emotional book. You have to be okay with negative emotions, positive emotions, but he really takes you into the depths with his character. That alone is worth it because it's very rare to receive that from a, a writer. It's extremely difficult and I felt that with this book. This isn't lighthearted by any means. This has to do with some very tough subject matter with regards to what could go wrong in a society. But it's very important to read a book like this. For one, you don't want society to go this route. And two, so that you realize and are careful about the things that are going on around you that could possibly lead to some things that could lead to what is going on in this book, which is partly why he wrote it that way. It was more of a what-if scenario if certain people got the power that it takes to make a society the way it is in this book. As I mentioned uh, regarding the emotions you feel, it's very intense. With regards to reading the book, you're excited in reading it, but at the same time, you're hoping that something changes in it. And so it's very, very powerful in that way. I would suggest it to people that enjoy feeling strong emotions, whether it's a positive or a negative emotion. You're all around science fiction junkies, you're politicos, you're conspiracy theorists. They will definitely love this book. It's a classic, and if there isn't any other reason to read it, read it because it was very well written. I highly recommend this book. Bravo to George Orwell. Amazing. Moving on. So, for next week. Bear with me. Okay. Brave New World. Aldous Huxley. The reason I am extremely excited about this book is because I read this, I think most of us read this book, I don't know, eighth grade, something like that, so long ago, I was nowhere ready to read something like this. But ever since, I was always curious about it and always wanted to go back to try and read it again and understand it. A little bonus, Aldous Huxley was George Orwell's schoolmaster. I didn't even know that until I was preparing for this coincidence. Not only that, but this book is often compared to this book. Again, this was after the fact, after I had already ordered this book. The mind works in mysterious ways, am I right? So next week, so next Sunday, I will have read this and give you my take on it. Please let me know if there's anything I can add in the comments, whether or not you like these reviews, what I can add to the reviews. Like I said, I don't wanna to give too much away of the book for a lot of people that haven't read these like me. Let me know what books you recommend as well, and I will definitely consider those. Part of me preparing for this, uh, I actually just kind of wrote out what I was going to write because I do have a blog, and so I will put the link to the review that I'm writing about this 
about this. And that way, if you want to take a look at that, I can have that available to you as well. So I think I'm going to do that too. I'm going to do the vlog and then I'll also do the review on my actual blog. Again, thank you for listening. Please help me with any subscriptions, comments, likes. We want to grow this sci-fi community channel because that's the ultimate goal is to have anyone that's interested in science fiction reading to be included in this. See you next Sunday.